Alright guys, welcome back. How fast? 719. Well, I'm waiting for that to cool because it's still pretty hot. I have a temp gun somewhere. <clears throat> still 100 and some degrees. Anywho, while I'm waiting for that to cool down, let's go ahead and uh, open up a new box. So, if you guys don't know, working on a uh, 2014 CRF 450, CRF R 450, CRF R R R, CRF 450R. So, got a whole slew of parts coming in for the project. Um, yeah, you can see these are. Uh, Polish Sport, Poly Sport, Polish Sport, Polish Sport, whatever you want to call it. They're plastics for the bike. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the kid wanted to go with with uh, white. So we ordered in white. So these, when you order a set of plastics, they don't come with a lot of stuff, or they come with stuff. They don't come with a lot of stuff. And the sticker almost fell out. Right on the edge. Weirdos. Anyway, so... Just open it up. Got here... It's a front fender. It's white. So, I'm just gonna set everything to the side. A number plate. It's white. We got these looks like the plastics oh that's cool comes with a little heat tape because these are the uh, we'll go over the exhausts dual exhaust scissors. these are the fairings the radiator fairings made in Portugal um, these go along the seat, I believe. Um, this is your rear fender. It's white. And then uh, it looks like every package comes with a sticker. Polo Sports sticker in there. They threw two more stickers here. So what I was getting at is um, you need to make sure that you have your washers. So don't just chuck your uh, your front fender because there's little washers in there. So you can see on this bike, you have a washer and the washer goes on the top side. Um, also, it does not come with fork guards, so you do have to purchase those separately. Fork guards, so it seems like maybe this one didn't come with a sticker. So... Um, but yeah, came with this, this one has a sticker. We'll, uh, we'll throw these on later. I want to get the bike all completely sealed up. That one has a sticker in it. This one. I don't know why it felt like that. I felt like something else was in it. That one has a sticker in it. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I want to get the bike all sealed up. Get it sealed get it cleaned and uh, and uh, then I'll throw these plastics on there's a lot of nooks and crannies that I want to clean before uh, I want to throw these on so anyway I just wanted to give you guys a little upper date I'm trying to do this one-handed ish of what I received Little uh, little lady just dropped it off in a pickup truck. It's kind of weird. Like maybe she went, maybe she went around stealing packages and brought it home. And was like, uh, I don't know what that is. Bring it back. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think so. Um, but yeah. So got that. I'll let you guys know when I get more parts in. Just doing little update videos of everything. I kind of 
can't do anything yet until this cools down. Once it cools down, uh, we'll get back to that video. Uh, and then I can't do anything with the clutches, the springs, or any of this stuff. So uh, for the meantime, those parts will probably... I gotta put this back in the basket. The parts will just sit in here until uh, until I get that pressure plate, which looks like that pressure plate won't be here till um, till Saturday. Um, I also did off camera just because I didn't know how it was gonna work. I put this throttle tube on here. Um, it's pretty pretty smooth, I would say. I'm not flooding it out. It's fuel injected. Um, but yeah, you basically, I think you loosen this. I tried loosening it. It didn't seem like it was doing anything because it's a bearing, so it just spun. So I put it on there, loosened it, and then it went into the tube. And then I thought it was good, but then I still had a, a good size gap between here and the master cylinder. So I loosened it again. I tightened it, and then as I was pushing on it, and it, went, and it sucked in. So anyway... Um, seem, seems to be alright. Might be purchasing a different set of bars. These are Renthal bars. Stock bar. These are Renthal's. The 971 series. These are same same bar. So, um, yeah. Do have levers coming, like I said in the previous video. Don't know when they'll be here. Maybe tomorrow or next day. But uh, I want to try those levers out on this bike because this bike's getting all the attention. So, anyway, that's going to be in this video. Quick little unboxing, a little update of what's going on over here. And uh, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're liking the content, subscribe. And uh, just keep being you. Alright, guys, I'm going to get back to this video over here. If you want to see that video? Just check out the playlist, the 2014 CRF 450R. Go down to the playlist and uh, you'll see that video, which this video will be part of that playlist too. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.